Hello there, how are you doing? Thank you so much for joining me and I sincerely hope you're all doing great. So Prince Harry's latest visit to the UK was uh, for his late uncle's memorial service and that happened on August 29th. The UK media didn't know anything about Prince Harry going to the UK and they only learned about this after Prince William and his team leaked to the press that Prince Harry was actually at the memorial at the memorial. And well according to People magazine, Prince Harry stayed at Althorpe, which is Princess Diana's childhood home during this visit, and he was hosted by his uncle Charles Spencer. Now, Charles Spencer is a very good person. Well, he's been a very nice person, especially to Prince Harry. And I believe that he has kept his promise to Princess Diana that he made during her funeral that he will always take care of him. Even while they were walking behind the casket, Al Spencer was holding Prince Harry's uh, back. And he always checked up on Prince Harry during the old ceremony. So it's just been so clear that he has been on Harry's side and he's always protecting him. And it hasn't also been long since Charles Spencer, that is Al Spencer, called out Amanda Plattel for saying some pretty nasty things about Harry and his life. So uh, I just love Al Spencer and the way he's been so close to Harry and also remember that the Spencer family came in to support Prince Harry during the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games. Charles Spencer was there, uh, Lady Jane was there and they just wholly love Prince Harry. And Prince Harry coming to the UK unnoticed, attending the memorial service and flying back to the U.S. unnoticed until uh, one day later is when the British media got a hold of Prince Harry being in the U.K. So that just, uh, that just tells me how the Spencer family do not leak stories about Prince Harry to the press, but the royal family do. And that is the reason why Prince Harry could trust them with this visit. So people wrote saying that, Prince Harry made a poignant visit to Althorpe House, the ancestral home of his late mother, Princess Diana, during his recent trip to the UK. The Duke of Sussex stayed with his uncle Charles Spencer at the Althorpe House following his surprise appearance at the memorial service for his late uncle, Lord Robert Fellows. And well, after the UK media learned of Prince Harry's place of residence when he visited the UK, they have been writing some pretty nasty articles. For example, the Daily Mail wrote saying that Prince Harry showed he feels at home with the Spencers by staying with Uncle Charles on UK visit. Royal experts say after he turned down King Charles's invite to stay at Buckingham Palace. Now, how disgusting is this? First of all, do you even believe that King Charles actually invited Prince Harry to stay at Buckingham Palace? From what I can tell, Prince Harry's visit to the UK last week was done so under the radar, he probably did not even inform Buckingham Palace or the Met Police about his visit. It seems to me like this visit was a surprise to everyone as evidenced by the hysterical reporting over the course of five days. Harry is not flatly required to inform Buckingham Palace and the Met Police of his visits. He only has to give them 30 days notice if he wants temporary royal protection, which is judged on a case-by-case -case basis. So it feels like Harry did not notify anyone but the Spencer family about his plans to attend Robert Fellow's funeral. And that is why these people are so mad about this Harry's visit. They've been mad at Prince William because he probably didn't get the information earlier about Harry coming to the UK so that he would leak the information. And now they're mad that Harry stayed with his uncle Al Spencer at Althorpe.
Well, Sarah Vine also wrote an article and I'm just going to read you a piece of this bonkers piece. So in one part, she said that Prince Harry could easily have been put up at one of the royal residences for this visit. The king has made it clear that his door is always open to his younger son. But not only did Harry choose not to, in fact, he didn't see his father at all on this trip. Despite the fact that King Charles is still receiving treatment for cancer, he made a point of staying with Al Spencer. Notice how bitter these people are. The fact that Harry chose the Spencer side of the family over King Charles and the rest of the members of the royal family uh, makes these people really mad. And you know, it's not because they care about Harry's relationship with um, his father or even with the Earl Spencer or anyone. The only reason why they are mad about this is because they know if Harry had stayed with his father or had accepted the invitation to stay at Buckingham Palace or in any other royal residence, then the UK media would have access to him. They would know that Harry is in the country. But Harry staying with uh, the Spencer side of the family may, um, meant that Harry was protected and there were no leaks whatsoever. So that's the reason why people like Sarah Vine are mad. And they, they're going to be mad for a long time because uh, I am seeing the way Harry is moving and it seems like he doesn't want anything to do with uh, the British media and the royal family, especially because the royal family leak a lot. If Harry had even decided to stay at one of the royal residences, then King Charles would eventually leak to the press. The same way he leaked about Harry going to Canada or Harry even wanting to move to South Africa. King Charles' office was eventually going to leak this story. So the only place where Harry was safe and his privacy was well protected was with the Spencers. This also seems to me like Charles is so desperate to be seen as a good father, a father who's willing to welcome his son, uh, his son wherever and whenever. But that is not true. If that was the case, then King Charles would not have taken Harry's only home in the UK. That was Frogmore Cottage. He would have had a security for his own son whenever he visits the UK. But as, as, as of now, Prince Harry still doesn't have a home in the UK and his security isn't guaranteed in that country. So he should spare us with all these cries. And Sarah Vine was crying out loud in the last part, saying that this snub to his father and brother sends a clear and equivocal message. Prince Harry is not offering any kind of olive branch. He's doubling down. Well, they know it already. Prince Harry doesn't want anything to do with his family. And the fact that the UK media keep crying about Harry not giving them any access and also the royal family not having any information on Harry's whereabouts just shouts their desperation. And they're going to cry for a long time because the way I see it, Harry's mind is already made up and he doesn't want anything to do with those toxic people. So yeah, that is just what I wanted to share with you. You can leave your comments down below on what you think about what we've just discussed. And I'll see you on the next podcast. Have a wonderful and amazing time. Bye.